Hello everyone. This is Mrs. Varsha Patil from Modern School, Vashi, and I will be conducting 10th Standard Geography classes for you. So before heading towards our online classes, I would like to share a very beautiful and relevant thought related to our present situation. It is not the strongest of the species that survive, nor the most intelligent that survive. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. So I would suggest accept the change with a smile and move ahead to create a world full of love and kindness. So let's get set go for our today's session. These are the topics that we would be covering in geography this year. Field visit location and extent, physiography and drainage, climate, natural vegetation and wildlife, population, human settlements, economy and occupations, tourism, transport and communication. Our first chapter is field visit. Before starting this chapter, I would like to tell you that the chapter that is given in your textbook is just a sample of a field visit and it is just given for our knowledge and information. There will be no questions asked from this chapter. It is clearly mentioned in the textbook on page number 8 but there will be questions asked related to this topic. There are five questions in the textbook and we have to concentrate only on them. I will explain all of them. This presentation will help you to prepare your own notes. In this presentation today, I will cover the first three questions and the remaining two will be followed in my next presentation. We all visit places, go for trips, picnics, isn't it? We visit forts, museums, ancient historical places, temples, caves, go to the beaches, etc. But have you noticed when we visit these places, we actually try to gather information about that place, observe, analyze that place, interact with the localites, and enjoy the food and try to fit in the environment and culture. So somewhere directly or indirectly in this manner we all are studying geography. So what is field visit? Here field describes the work done outside the classroom where children can try new things, have different experiences and learn valuable life lessons. So, field visit is a practical and an important method for the study of geography. For example, taking kids to a zoo, hospital, a fire brigade would be more exciting and informative than merely showing them pictures and reading out to them. Thus, field visit helps in developing geographical concepts, elements and processes through direct personal experience. Here, by concepts we mean studying a particular place, region, its location, population density, etc. The second word, element, means physical geography and human geography. Under physical geography, we study different water bodies like river, ocean, seas, the climate, weather conditions, etc. Under human geography, we study human settlements, urbanization, etc. The third word processes means a sequence of actions that can be natural or cultural which shape and change environments, 
places and societies. Example, erosion, migration, globalization, all this we've already studied in class 9. Field visit also helps in understanding the correlation, that is the relationship between the humans and the environment. A simple example to explain this is the way we change our clothes in response to colds or hot weather. In winter, we wear warm clothes to keep ourselves warm and in summer, we wear cotton clothes. Field visit thus makes the study of geography more interesting and supports application of knowledge. We now move on to our second question. What items will you take with you for a field visit or how will you prepare for a field visit? It is essential to plan the field visit according to the topic, place and duration of the visit. For example, if you want to visit a historical place in Rajasthan, so historical place will be your topic, Rajasthan would be your place. And since it is away from Maharashtra, the duration, that is the number of days that you will require during this trip would be more. Okay. So the following items are to be taken while going for a field visit. First, prior permission should be taken from the concerned office, parents, school and fix the time and date of our field visit well in advance. Second, identify the objective of the visit and select the site to be visited. We've already identified the objective which is the historical, vis historical place and the site to be visited would be Rajasthan. Third, talk to your teacher or your guide to find out what you will need on the field trip and what you won't. Since duration would be more, you will have to carry more clothes. Again, when you are going to visit the place, that is which month you are going to visit or which season you are going to visit is also important. Because if you visit the place in winter, you will have to carry warm clothes. If you visit the place in summer, you will have to carry cotton clothes. Fourth, transport, transport arrangement. That is, are you going to go by bus? Are you going to take railway or you're going to go by plane? Fifth, choose a suitable backpack to carry your luggage, a handbag to carry or collect samples of different things and materials like rocks and shells that we find in different places while visiting them. Sixth point would be writing equipment. That is, always carry a notebook, a pen, a pencil, paints, etc., whatever you require. Seventh, measuring instruments like scale, a tape. Eighth, eye cards, which is very essential if in case you get lost. A cap, water bottle, first aid box, torch, etc. Carry a sample questionnaire. Okay, by sample questionnaire, I mean always carry a list of questions that you want to ask or information you want to know that is what you mean by sample questionnaire then if possible we should carry the map of a place we plan to visit a compass to show us direction a camera as well as binoculars whatever is required 11th sunglasses sunscreens lotion insect repellent snacks etc Please note, during the field visit, we must try not to cause any harm to the environment of that place. We now move to our third question, which is, how will you manage litter, which means waste material, during the field visit? Although visiting field is a very good experience, you may face problems of handling litter or waste. Keeping our surrounding clean is important. 
wherever we go. Following are some remedies to manage your litter properly. First, always carry some litter covers and dispose them wherever we find a litter box or a dustbin. Second, segregate dry and wet garbage. Third, avoid plastic usage like bags, bottles, etc. Fourth, instead use jute, cloth bags, other similar products. Fifth point, bring your own water bottles instead of buying drinking plastic bottles. By doing this, you will reduce the usage of plastic and also reduce litter. Sixth, instead of eating manufactured food, eat and drink natural food. Because if you eat manufactured food, again it will add to more litter. Finally, collect all the waste material at the end of the trip and put them into a nearby dustbin. Thus, we have come to an end of this presentation and I am sure you have understood. This presentation will be very helpful to you to prepare your own notes. Thank you.